It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. Shaq's here. Kenny's here. Welcome to this edition of 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Toronto Raptors as they play against the Suns in Phoenix. And guys, for the Suns, they haven't forgotten the fact that this team swept them last year in the regular season. This is a game they had circled going in. And taking the floor tonight, someone with a traditional post game who can also shoot with great range, DeAndre Ayton. Mm. Shaq, your thoughts? I watched this guy play in college, seven-footer with a 7'5 wingspan. Not fast, necessarily, but agile, fluid, highly skilled. What more could you want? more could you want? Well, accurate shooter from the field and the free throw line. This guy moves his feet well enough to switch defensively. I love his game. And now with the tip coming up shortly, time to send it to Kevin Harlan for the call. Phoenix as the crowds look to cheer on their hometown sons. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. And this game marks the start of a road trip here for the Raptors. Well, compared to last season, you'd have to say the start to this season has not been quite what you'd expect. They hope to, they hope to improve their record with a win tonight, certainly. Kevin, you know, you always try and get that first game that starts a long road trip to kind of just put your group in the right frame of mind and build some early momentum. So Phoenix will get the first possession. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. We've got Ibaka, Lowry out there with Norman Powell. Then it's Johnson, and it's Siakam in at the four spot. Now here's Ayton. He just worked San Antonio in that last game. And Ricky Rubio might be one of the most unselfish players in the league. Not only for his passing and how much he enjoys piling up assists, but how he does a great job adjusting to what the team needs him to do and, and not worrying about his own game. He's now one for two with that bucket. That's a talented guy getting too easy a look. Might have been a miscommunication on that one. Well, just the first quarter, everyone's still getting adjusted. That said, on defense, you have to bring help sooner. And so it's the Suns getting on the board first. Here's Lowry. And it's blocked. But they recover it. Lock at six. Here's Powell. And, and using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiden can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. Mm 
And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. And Rubio kicks to Ubre. Aiton dishes to Booker. And there's the feed to Sharich. Rubio the pass to Booker. Three on the clock. A three-pointer off the mark. And for Rubio, who has been in the eye of the media for so long, Greg, he's always been unselfish. We've always seen that in his style of play. You're right, Kevin. You've always been able to see that with Rubio's game. Great at making quick reads, seeing passes before they develop. I mean, he can see who's open and who's going to be open before he even catches a pass. Yeah, they're a little bit cold here. 0 for 4 to get this one going. Tries again. And it's Shards with the nice basket inside. This is where you got to put a body on the guy. His will is incredible down on the interior, fighting and clawing for every rebound. Abaka finds Lowry. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Here's Siakam. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Siakam's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. And David Aldridge spoke with Nick Nurse. David. Well, Kevin, I asked him what the strategy was offensively, and he said, look, we want to avoid having to take so many outside shots. They want to exploit what he described as a mismatch inside. He said, we have the talent down low to make things very difficult on those guys, and we're going to use it. Kevin? Thank you, David. The Toronto, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Tries it from nine. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Brent, you played for 14 seasons. What kind of off-season training did you do personally to keep in shape? I had a great trainer in uh, Southern California that I would go home to uh, every year and, and work on different things. It was funny, Kevin, because as you get a little bit older, you can be a little more specific with how you train. You understand how you're going to be used, the type of minutes you're going to play, so it can be a little bit more specialized. I'm not sure if I could tell you this, but I, I surfed a lot in the offseason. Balance. Balance. The, the core. Balance balance, core, right? Core, core balance. All right, Thank good. you. Thank you. <laughs> Check box. <laughs> and here's Lowry after Devin Booker getting his shot to go from deep. Oubre with it. Johnson's there. A nice shot by Booker. Booker knows how to get cooking from the mid-range. I like how quickly he rose up for that shot attempt. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. A coaching carousel, certainly in Phoenix. This is the fourth different head coach in as many seasons. What does that do, Brent, to a young team? Well, it's tough for development because if you don't consistently work with the same player development coaches, uh, you, you might be learning things for an offense that might have to be reset every year. Igor Kokoskov is one of the more ingenious offensive minds in the game. This is why he's got this opportunity in Phoenix. And I look forward with the type of talent that Phoenix has, with how much creativity he can bring to the court, and hope these young players are excited for that opportunity. Good substitution here for Phoenix. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for eight. Kaminsky comes in for Sharich. Bridges, he's checked in for Oubre. And it's Johnson in for Ricky Rubio. And Toronto will go for a different look here. OG Ananobi's checked in for Ibaka. Andre Hollis Jefferson comes in for Johnson. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. Now here's Johnson. He's coming off a 10-point game against San Antonio, and the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That's his first foul. One fifty-one left to play in the first. Now here's Johnson. Tight defense on him. Six on the shot clock. The Suns need to get a shot off. Here's Baines, and the Suns tack on two more. And, and I'm not really sure that's the time for the fadeaway, but he sure can make it count. Van Vliet kicks to Siakam. 
And an OB in the corner. A three-pointer is right on target. Ananobi's got himself on the board with three there. And what an assured player. Ananobi believes in his ability to shoot the ball off the catch. Baines passes to Kaminsky. Johnson right side. This one for three. And the Suns get it back. He really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. And there's the pass to Ananobi. Over Booker. Rebounded by Kaminsky. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. It's a three-point game. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. And you know what? Up against a weak defense, they were allowed to do pretty much whatever they wanted. Yeah, what I like, though, besides that, is that they just didn't settle for it because weak defenses, you, you could take bad shots. That's not what they did here tonight. Here's Hollis Jefferson, and the jumper from down low is good. Hollis Jefferson's got his first points of the night. Booker against Lynn. Booker looking around. Shoots over Lynn, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Booker's got seven points. You have to be alert if you're guarding Devin Booker. He's terrific at cutting apart the defense with the dribble move. And that does it for the first quarter. Suns lead by five. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. From undrafted to $50 million man, Tyler Johnson talked about what it felt like when he finally hit it big. I think when I finally heard that number, when they put the offer sheet on there and said $50 million, I mean, that's well documented that uh, you know, I kind of got sick. <laughs> I just know the journey that it took me to get here. It was a little bit overwhelming, so I, man, I threw up. And credit Johnson's work ethic, Greg, putting himself in position to earn that big payday. Great to see an underdog make it. And that's the kind of contract that truly changes your life forever. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. What stands out to you from the Suns in this one? For me, that defense in the first period, just tremendous shot blocking. Yeah, that prevented some points, didn't it? Also, how you have that intimidation factor going early on, you wonder if in the fourth quarter they'll think back to the first. So for Toronto right now, we've got Ananobi. Hollis Jefferson is out there with Jeremy Lin. And it's Siakam in at the five down low. Johnson dishes to Booker. And it goes down two points. Nine points in the game so far. And if Booker has the defense on him inside, he can still deliver doesn't let that get to him. You know, Brent, when you think of Devin Booker, you immediately think scoring. But he's become, as time goes on, an excellent facilitator as well. Well, he's, I think he's learning to do that, Kevin, because of the playing time that he's getting. And the defenses that he has seen in the early part of his career have been quite unique. You know, two out of the first three years that he played in the NBA, he's averaging over 20 points. So the passing part of his game, the more feel part of his game, uh, it's coming along nicely. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Here's Van Vliet, defended by Booker. Van Vliet kicks to Lynn. Not really his range, and it's off target. Phoenix leading by five. Booker outside. Pass to Kaminsky. Shoots over Lynn. Another one falls for Phoenix. Toronto calls timeout. They have so many great point guards in the league right now. Brent, which of them do you think does the best job? 
of running the pick and roll. I think Chris Paul still heads up uh, the top of my list for pick and roll operators. He's so devastating and has been for his entire career in the mid-range, just settling in at the free throw line and popping shots that seem effortless and he's able to knock it down. Steph Curry is still uh, at the point guard position, does so many unique things, Kevin, playing without the basketball and setting screens away from the ball to open up teammates, which eventually gives him opportunities to shoot threes. So divergently different, those two, but two of my favorites to watch. Substitution here for Phoenix. Aiton, he's checked in for Aaron Baines. Sharch comes in for Frank Kaminsky. Oubre is checked in for Devin Booker. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for Johnson. A new group in now for the Raptors. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Siakam. Stanley Johnson comes in for OG Ananobi. Powell, he's checked in for Jeremy Lin. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Fred Van Vliet. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey guys, well, Mark Gasol is the more fiery of the Gasol brothers. Hal Gasol says, I sugarcoat things a little more than Mark. He's more emotional, more direct. And Mark said, when a mistake happens on defense, I know you're not concentrating. I don't allow that. He knows controlling his frustration is important. He says, I'm working on it. Guys? Art of leadership, DA, thank you. Here's Lowry after the made shot from Ricky Rubio. Kicks it out to Johnson. Shoots over Oubre. And again, no good by Toronto. Suns leading by nine. Pass to Bridges. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Ibaka, no luck. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Passes it to Sharich, kicks it to Rubio. Back to Sharich. And the three off target. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Hollis Jefferson, count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And you have to love the way Hollis Jefferson plays on the defensive end. So active with his length and, and can disrupt an offense single-handedly. The, the team is visibly better on defense with Hollis Jefferson on the floor. Now here's Oubre. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And it's Phoenix scoring again. There's a minute 40 left in the first half of the game. Lowry finds Johnson. Knocks it loose. And it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. Here's Bridges. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. And with Alice Jefferson in his defense, he's not only strong, but he's versatile with whom he can guard. Yeah, I mean, RHJ has great length. And at 6'7", he can guard almost every position on the floor. Strong on the glass, even though he's often undersized in his matchup. R.H.J. is anything but an average player. I really love how effective he's become on both ends. We've got 108 left in the first half. Sharich against Johnson. The baseline jumper goes down. 
Johnson's got his first two points. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Charge inside. He feeds it to Ayton. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And he's just bullying his way around the paint. Aiden with those broad shoulders and that great strength. The pass to Powell. Back to Lowry. Launches it. And it's Aiden with the rebound. Phoenix leading by 12. Inside, Bridges. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for Toronto. And this is their first time matched up with the Suns this season. Yeah, an interconference matchup, and these are two teams at different ends of the spectrum as far as the talent is concerned. Three-pointer, and the last-second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the Phoenix Suns sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Ricky. Bench has always been an issue here. When they produce like they did in the first half, how does that help you? amazing that means like we are we have a deep bench and then a lot of work from the staff from the from the everybody of the of the team like doing uh, extra work and winning games trying to change the culture around here thanks Ricky back to you Kevin all right Dave thank you and time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2k sports and now the 2k sports halftime show Hello, you're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson uh, here at this beautiful table. This is a beautiful, what beautiful is table. What is this, oak? Uh, it is. is. It's, uh, I think it's teak. Oh, teak? There's Shaq. There's Kenny. It's polished oak. Uh, teak. It's polished very nice. Teak. It's very so nice. You mean antique? No, it's just teak. Teak. I have an antique. For the Suns, the first quarter was pretty even. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? In terms of their offensive performance, that was a very well-played half of basketball. Good ball movement off the ball, hard screens being set, and they found the guy for the open look. That's how they were able to shoot such a tremendous percentage from the field. With that fluid, efficient offense, they'll be tough to catch in the second half. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Well, they struggled in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the list. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You got to protect the rim. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You gotta like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. And I love the game plan in that first half. They really valued each possession. Uh, efficient so far with the shots that he's taken. His contributions have been fantastic. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. While well, we've got a moment, let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up for the second half. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. Ricky Rubio is out there with Booker. Then there's Kelly Oubre. Then it's Dario Saric. And it's Aiton in at the pivot, manning the middle. Here is Rubio. After the made shot from Kyle Lowry. Rubio the pass to Saric. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his first foul. On defense, the Raptors. Down by 12. 
Rubio against Lowry, and the basket by Rubio. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. Toronto's shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Lowry looking around. Here's Ibaka, again Toronto. The yeah, Suns coach Igor Kokoskov, the NBA's first ever head coach, born and raised outside of North America. He will not be the last, but a great opportunity for Phoenix as this guy's paid his dues. 18 years as an NBA assistant, including five early years in Phoenix. Mike Kaminsky, he's checked in for Sharich. And Toronto also making a switch. Van Vliet's checked in. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Oubre kicks to Kaminsky. Six on the shot clock. Booker outside. The three-pointer no good. And Kokoshkov, a pioneer, the first D1 college assistant coach out of Europe, also the first in that role in the NBA. Yeah, in the NBA, he reached the conference finals seven times and the finals twice. So he's seen what it takes and what type of competitive environment it is when you reach those elite levels. And in 2004, was on the staff for the Detroit Pistons when they won the NBA title against the Lakers. So been around a lot of winning. And Aiton throws it down. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Aiton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Raptors trail by 11. Toronto calls timeout. And you know, DeAndre Aiden, all that height around him. He goes 7 feet, 250 with that 7'5 wingspan and already produces. But still, he shows considerable upside. Baines, who's checked in for Phoenix. Johnson comes in for Ricky Rubio, and then for Toronto. OG Ananobi's checked in for Stanley Johnson, and it's Jeremy Lin in for Kyle Lowry. Siakam passes to Ananobi. Takes the three. Siakam misses. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. Oubre, good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got his third assist on the night. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Siakam. Five points in the game. Baines with the block. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Right around three minutes into the second half. And it's Johnson penetrating. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Like the tactics on defense there. Refusing to give the shooter the easy layup at the rim. It's stolen by Kaminsky. Oubre with it. Trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. The WNBA, the top teams, make the playoffs. We know that regardless of what conference. And the early results look good, Brent. Do you ever see that happening in the NBA? I, I like the chatter about it. I like the consideration about it. I love the idea of the top 16 teams making the playoffs. But then I think to myself, well, if 12 of those 16 teams are in the Western Conference, 
then a lot of people are going to be watching something else come playoff time. So travel is just it just makes it prohibitive. Not, not just it? the travel, Kevin, but the idea that you have these shifts. As we know, the Western Conference has dominated the NBA for at least the last decade. That there just wouldn't be much attention for the playoffs, at least throughout the country, if you did it that way. Phoenix leading by 13 to the middle. Here's Kaminsky. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Kaminsky's got his second basket. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Van Vliet kicks to Ibaka. Shoots a fader. And the Raptors miss again. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. To the paint, here's Johnson. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. Booker's got his fifth assist in this one. Yeah, Tyler Johnson with some creative play there. Knows how to get inside there. Using the angle, the body. Finishes that one with ease. Pass to Siakam. We've got 128 left to play in the third. That one drops for him. Got to give a ton of credit to the screener there. That was a perfect pick to give his teammate the space to knock down the shot. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Some changes for Phoenix. Charge comes in for Bridges. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Johnson. And Toronto also making a switch. Norman Bowles checked in for Serge Ibaka. One shot. On the free throw, no good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Pass to Kaminsky. Six to shoot. A baseline J. Another one falls for Phoenix. 103 left to play in the third. Van Vliet passes to Ananobi. Outside, Lynn. Van Vliet looking around. Over Booker. And too long on the shot. The Suns on offense. They're on a 10-2 run here. Fades away. And it's Lynn with the rebound. And so Lynn will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. 17-point game. Raptors have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And the Suns making a change here. Aiton's checked in. And then for Toronto. Hollis Jefferson comes in for OG Ananobi. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for Jeremy Lin. And so he makes both from the line. Well, they depend on him to score, and that doesn't mean just from the field. Sometimes it comes from the charity strike. Booker outside. The shot misses. It could go. No good on the shot. And so it's the Phoenix Suns riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it. Contest. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game.
And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Setting the floor for the Raptors. They've got Lowry. Hollis Jefferson is out there with Johnson. Then there's Norman Powell. And it's Siakam in at the five spot. Rubio finds Booker. Shot clock at five. And that one hits back iron. Trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but thus far, not working. Yeah, I hope it hasn't gone to his head. He may be trying too hard at this point. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Kelly Oubre has checked in for the Suns. Serge Ibaka has checked in for the Raptors. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Suns leading by 13. Rubio dishes to Booker. Lowry against Rubio. Booker outside. Shot clock at six. Lets it go with a three. Powell pulls it in. Raptors trail by 13. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And nicely done. Running the floor well, then attacking the rim. Now the exclamation point in transition with the high percentage finish. One shot. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Out to the right wing. Now here's Aiton. Defended by Ibaka. And Jorich kicks to Aiton. Basket good. Just such strength on these finishes. When you foul Aiton, you really have to hit him to prevent the basket. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Pass to Powell. Back to Lowry. There's the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Aiton's got his fourth rebound in this one. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Well, Booker playing very aggressive, constantly looking to score and not taking no for an answer. Toronto calls timeout. And one thing they'll discuss are the defensive rotations. The other is in the matchups. We're seeing very little help defense on the inside. And even when there is help, it's been ineffective.
And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Toronto's head coach had some words for his team during the break. He does not think they're giving him everything. He said they've been faster to us all night. Loose balls, rebounds, everything. We gotta wake up. It's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We gotta seize this game. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. Ibaka, no luck. And you gotta give him credit there. Great effort to contest that shot. Well, I love the fact that they put the security system on their house, protecting the paint there. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. He kicks it to Johnson. Will it go? Second chain shot. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. One of the best free throw shooting bigs in the league. But that wasn't always the case for Ibaka. He has put in a ton of work. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops from Ibaka. And both free throws good for Serge Ibaka. Suns leading by 15. Timeout time called, time the Suns. It's stolen by Johnson. To the left wing. Lowry against Rubio. Now, here's Lowry. To the inside. Lock at six. So difficult to defend Ibaka inside. The, the length, the improved strength, and he's one of those bigs who doesn't mind going to the line. At the line. Serge Ibaka taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Commissioner Adam Silver has balanced his comments between wanting parity, Brent, and recognizing there are always going to be super teams. Is there is there a middle ground there? Is there a middle ground? I, I don't I, know. I don't think so. You would like to have some of the teams just be more competitive than they are, but some of the creative, circuitous routes that teams have taken to put themselves into position to get better, younger talent has decimated. What do you, what do you call that? I, I don't have a term for it. Okay. I don't like the one that's used, so yeah. I don't have a term for it. Mm -hmm. Let's just call it setting yourself up for the yeah. future, Kevin. Well, looking ahead. Yes, yes, exactly. So uh, I just don't think you'll ever get it. Uh, you do hope that some of the starving franchises do have some success for the fans who have 
just they've had to bear a lot. So you root for them. Oubre kicks to Booker. Charge passes to Ayton. Over Abaka. And it's Ayton missing. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for Toronto. Down by 12. It's Powell on the wing. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. And all of a sudden, that great run makes this a ball game again. And now is no time to take your foot off the gas. They have got to stay aggressive. Well, they stacked up everything to get to this point. Now they have to shift into overdrive. Oubre kicks to Rubio. Puts up a three. Drills the three-pointer. And the Suns lead by 12. Oh, a little punch, counterpunch action. Neither side flinching here. Yeah, both sides trying to keep up with one another, but doing it from distance. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by 12. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the final quarter. we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Devin Booker. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Rubio against Lowry. Kicks to Ibaka. Johnson in the corner. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now, here's Rubio. Defense is right there. Out to Sharich. Now the pass to Oubre. Six to shoot. That's good from Booker. On the assist by Oubre. And that's 15 points for Devin Booker. Raptors trail by 14. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for Phoenix. Their shot blocking turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Yeah, excellent defense around the rim there, Kevin. That They were disciplined and focused. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Devin Booker. Uh, he came in with a focus and brought that dominant performance to the defense all night long, controlling the pace of the game and was firing on all cylinders. Tough to fault him for the struggles of the team so far. He has been solid. It's the rest of the guys that need to come along for the ride. Rubio against Lowry. Now Rubio. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they 
built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you later.